Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about Azure Traffic Manager and what are Azure Traffic Manager features. And I will log into Azure Portal. I'll create a Traffic Manager profile using Azure Portal. What is Traffic Manager? Azure Traffic Manager is a DNS-based traffic load balancer that enables you to distribute traffic optimally to services across global Azure regions while providing high availability and responsiveness. Azure Traffic Manager offers six types of DNS-based traffic routing, priority, performance, geographic, weighted round robin, subnet, and multi-value. Traffic Manager can improve the availability of important applications by monitoring your Azure resources, Azure services or external websites and services automatically directing users to the next best location when there is a failure. Traffic Manager makes your applications more responsive and improves content delivery times by directing your customers to Azure endpoints or an external location with the lowest network latency. Traffic Manager can direct your customer traffic and distribute it across multiple locations such as multiple cloud services or multiple Azure web apps. Traffic Manager can also help you with your geofencing needs using the geographic routing method. Traffic Manager is a popular option for on-premises scenarios including bus to cloud, migrate to cloud, and failure to cloud. Traffic Manager provides you with geographic routing capabilities to ensure content localization and adherence to data sovereignty regulations. Traffic Manager features. Increased application availability. Traffic Manager delivers high availability for your critical applications by monitoring your endpoints and providing automatic failover when an endpoint goes down. Improve application performance. Azure allows you to run cloud services or websites in data centers located around the world. Traffic Manager improves application responsiveness by directing traffic to the endpoint with the lowest network latency for the client. Perform service maintenance without downtime. You can perform planned maintenance operations on your applications without downtime. Traffic Manager can direct traffic to alternative endpoints while the maintenance is in progress. Combine hybrid ab applications. Traffic Manager supports external non-Azure endpoints, enabling it to be used with hybrid cloud and on-premises deployments, including the bus to cloud, migrate to cloud, and failover to cloud scenarios. Distribute traffic for complex deployments. Using nested traffic manager profiles, multiple traffic routing methods can be combined to create sophisticated and flexible rules to scale to the needs of larger, more complex deployments. Traffic manager pricing. There is no upfront cost, no termination fees, pay only for what you use. I will log into Azure portal now. I'll, I'll create two web apps and create a traffic manager profile. So I will keep one web app as a primary 
and then second second one as a secondary or uh, failover endpoint. Log into Azure portal now. So to create a traffic manager profile, so I'll just create two web apps. I will keep one as a primary endpoint and second one as a failover endpoint. To create web apps, we need to go to home and go to search and type web app. So you can see on the right side under the market marketplace, web app, click on web app. Now we need to create, I'll just keep traffic manager, iPhone resource group. We will create these two web apps in this resource group. Let's say test Azure 0102 iPhone 1. This is our primary endpoint. Select runtime stack, sp.net, window, location, let's keep central US, and size, let's go pick a size, go to dev test, pick F1, go to monitoring, enable application insights, no, let's go to review, create while this web the web web app one is creating let's go and create web app two same thing just go and type web app you can see under the marketplace keep this web app two in same resource group i will say test azure 0102 Runtime stack ASP.NET. Let's keep this in Europe. Let's keep this in West Europe. In case if our primary endpoint fails, then traffic manager automatically routes it to failover endpoint. If web app one fails, the traffic manager will automatically route the traffic to web app two. So that's why we are picking region to West Europe. Pick F1 plan. Let's go to monitoring. Enable application sites. No. Let's go review plus create. Let's create web app tool. So deployment in progress. While it is in progress, let's go home. Go to search and type traffic under the services you can see traffic manager profiles let's click on traffic manager profiles click add we need to give a name i'll just say test traffic manager 01 so this is not available i will keep one more number 02 this is available the profile name test test traffic manager 0102 and perform routing method priority subscription and resource group let's keep it in same resource group and resource group location central U us so this is where we created this resource group it doesn't impact anything with the traffic manager profile. Let's create this. So this is successful. So now we are in traffic manager prof profile. Under the settings, Click on endpoints. 
click on add then type azure endpoint and then just say primary endpoint and then target resource type app service and target resource web app one and priority one just click on this So now we see primary endpoint status enabled, Azure endpoint. Now let's create second endpoint. Let's give name failover endpoint, target resource type app service, and resource web app two and priority two. Let's click on this. So we picked priority two. All traffic goes to this failover endpoint if the primary endpoint is unhealthy. So we added two endpoints. And we see primary endpoint status is online. Let's go to overview. And this is our DNS name, traffic manager DNS name. And this two web apps we added in endpoints. So this is how you create a, a traffic managed profile and then you, you can add a web apps and you can choose a primary endpoint and failover endpoint. If primary endpoint fails, then traffic manager routes to if primary endpoint is unhealthy, then it automatically goes to traffic goes to failover endpoint. If you have any questions on this traffic manager topic, please post it in the comment. Thank you.